So today's video is on composition of two graphs and this topic is from graph theory. So what is this composition of two graphs? So let us consider the two graphs as G1 is equal to V1 E1 and G2 is equal to V2 E2 be two graphs. The composition of G1 and G2 is denoted by G1 of G2. See here, there is a condition here. The composition of G1 of G2 has the vertex set. V is equal to V1 cross V2. So, this is V1 and this is V2. We have to make a cross product of V1 and V2 in order to get the fresh vertex set for this composition of two graphs. As it is the vertex set. So, vertex set is obtained by the cross product of the first graph and the second graph vertex set. And next one, u1, u2 is adjacent to v1, v2. See here, talking about the edges. u1, u2 is adjacent to v1, v2 if it applies the two conditions. First one is u1 should be adjacent to v1. If u1 is adjacent to v1, you can take one edge. And next one, if u1 is equal to v1, then we have to check u2. If u2 is adjacent to v2, then you can take you can make an another edge so these are the conditions and it is so simplified go with an example see here find the composition of the two graphs so this is graph one see here this one is uh, graph one and this one is graph two and now this is the composition graph that is g1 of g2 see how i have uh, got this g1 cross g2 first one in the graph g1 the vertex set V1 has the two vertices that is U1 and U2. So, this is U1 and this is U2. And in the second graph, see here, the vertex set contains three points, three vertices that is V1, this is V2 and this is V3. So, in order to find out the composition of the two graphs, the vertex set here will be V1 cross V2. So, I have to make a cross product of these. So, next for the vertex set of the composition graph. So, this will be V1 cross V2. So, what is V1 here? That is U1, U2 cross. This is V1, V2 and this is V3. So, this will be U1, V1. The first point is U1, V1. The second point here is u1 v2 and the third point here is u1 v3 and the next one we have to make a cross product with u2 that is u2 v1 and next one u2 v2 and the next one is u2 v3 so these are the points so these are the vertices of the composition graph that is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so we have to plot all these six points here so, after plotting all these six points here, see, this is the vertex set V is equal to V1 cross V2. And see, these are the six points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And now, after plotting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 points, so we have to think about the edges. So, edges has a condition. So, first one, if U1, if U1, V1 and U2, V2 are adjacent, so, first we have to check u1 is adjacent to v1. So, we can take one edge. See here, if u1 is adjacent to u2, first one u1 and this is u2. Here u1 is adjacent to u2. They are side by side. So, I can take one edge here. And next one, u1 is adjacent to u2. See here, in this graph g1, u1 is adjacent to u2 and therefore I can make an edge here. And next u1 is adjacent to u2 from graph g1 and therefore I can take an edge here. And next here u1 is adjacent to u2 and therefore I can make an edge with this. And next u1 is adjacent to u2 from graph g1. They are adjacent therefore I can take one edge. And next u1 is adjacent to u2 therefore I can take one edge here. And next u1 here and u2 here they are adjacent from graph g1 so i can make one edge here next u1 and u2 they are side by side or adjacent from graph 1 so i can make one 
edge here and next here this is u1 and this is u2 they are adjacent to each other if they are adjacent i can take one edge and next coming to the second point here if u1 equal to u2 if u1 is equal to v1 then we have to go with u2 v2 they should be adjacent see here in this graph if you see here u1 is equal to u2 so here u1 this is u1 and this is uh, u1 so i have to go and check with v1 so the second one v1 equal to v2 here if it is v1 is equal to v2 are adjacent from graph g2 if u1 equal to u2 then i have to check the second ordinate that is v1 v2 if they are side by side so i have to take an another edge so which satisfying the second property and next if you see here if u1 is equal to u1 i have to check v1 v3 are they adjacent here v1 v3 they are not side by side they are not adjacent in between there is v2 therefore there is no edge from these two these two and see if you check u1 is equal to u2 and i am checking this u2 v2 and v3 so v2 v3 are adjacent to each other from graph 2 and therefore i am taking an edge here and next coming to this point here u2 is equal to u2 so now i have to check the second term second component that is v1 v2 so v1 v2 are adjacent therefore i can take an edge here and next see here u2 is equal to u2 i have to check v1 v3 so v1 v3 are not adjacent therefore i am not taking an edge here and see u1 equal to u2 here u2 equal to u2 so i have to check v2 and v3 so if v2 is equal to v3 v2 v3 are adjacent therefore i can take one edge here see here therefore according to the properties of the edges so i have collected all the vertex set as v1 cross v2 so v1 cross v2 are the six points obtained so I have plotted all the six points and with the condition that if u1 u2 are adjacent i can take an edge u1 to u2 adjacent if they are adjacent the first ordinate or component are adjacent to each other i can take one so u1 u2 adjacent u1 u2 adjacent u1 u2 so i have make an edge so here in this case the second point holds u1 is equal to u2 so i have to check v1 v2 so v1 v2 are adjacent therefore i took one edge and here u1 equal to u1 therefore I have to check v2 v3 so i took an edge and this is the composition graph of g1 composite to this is g2 and next one the composition of two graph that is g2 of g1 see here this is graph g1 and this is graph g2 and this will be g2 composition of g1 so let us uh, see how it comes and see first one the vertex set is nothing but v2 of v1 so what is v2 v2 is nothing but the vertex set from graph g2 as i am making a composition from g2 of g1 so i have to take the vertex set of the graph g2 first that is v1 v2 v3 and next vertex set of g1 that is nothing but u1 u2 so now v2 cross v1 is nothing but i have to make a cross product of each and every one v1 u1 v1 u2 v2 u1 v2 u2 v3 u1 and v3 u2 so these are the six points one two three four five and six now i have to draw the composition of g2 of g1 so this is graph g1 and this is graph g2 and see here these are the vertices six vertices one two three four five six and how to make these edges see here this is v1 and v2 v1 v2 are side by side adjacent to each other so i can take one edge v2 v3 see here v2 v3 v2 v3 are adjacent to each other from graph 2 so i can take one edge here v1 v2 are adjacent to each other from graph 2 therefore i can make an edge so v2 v3 are side by side adjacent to each other from graph 2 therefore i make an edge here v1 v2 
v1 v2 are adjacent from graph g2 therefore i took an edge next one here v2 v3 are adjacent therefore i took a edge here i took an edge here v1 v2 are adjacent to each other therefore i took a took an edge here next v1 v3 so v1 v3 are not adjacent therefore i am not making an edge here and next see here v2 v3 so this is v2 v3 are adjacent to each other therefore i am taking one edge here and next one this second point here is if v1 is equal to v1 then i have to check this one u1 and this is u2 so u1 u2 are adjacent to each other therefore i can take one edge see here next one v1 equal to v2 if the first component is same we have to check the second component u1 u2 if u1 u2 are adjacent from graph g1 i can take one edge and next one see here this point v3 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 equal to v3 so i have to check the second component u1 u2 so u1 u2 are adjacent to each other therefore i can make an edge with this and this is how g2 of g1 the composition of two graphs is that we have to make an edge vertex set with the v2 cross v1 and the, these will be the vertices or the points and here with these two conditions we have to form the edges therefore this will be the composition of two graphs hope you all guys understand if you really understand this video please take time to raise your thumb pass it on to your friends and practice well thank you so much for watching